Okay, so this is a quick overview of the MyPlace Connect dashboard. So this is where you will be able to access all of your, your user information that is collected on the Wi-Fi. So I'll just give a quick overview of all of the of the of the of what's available here. And we can maybe jump into the rest of it in, in, in future videos in more detail, but for now we're just gonna give a quick overview of, of what is here. So this is the primary page showing the analytics and new versus returning users. So you get the idea of, of what of what what percentage of people are new versus versus our existing customers on the guest network. So it's the guest network only. And you can change the time frame here if you want. If you have multiple sites, then you can see them here. So this is just a demo venue. All the data you see in this video video is just is just fake data uh, data just for the purpose of a demo. But if you had multiple sites, you could have you could see them all here and you could access them individually from that point. So jumping in then to the to the next tab down is the user data. <clears throat> so this is where all of the the data you collect will be stored. So first name, last name, verified email address. It's fully verified, of course. The connection, the SSID, or the Wi-Fi signal that they actually connect to, the access point they connect on, from the from the Unify perspective. Um, moving on, then we have the date they signed up, and then with the date the customer was last seen in the venue. So if they signed up six months ago and they were there last week, you get to see a picture of 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 what of their of their behavior pattern or how often they've came to 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 your venue. And then we also have this uh, visit frequency, so you can tell how often a person has been in your venue, and it's a good way of, of getting a picture of, of good customers, loyal customers, customers who are likely to buy more, that type of thing, it's, it's really great for that. We also have then the MailChimp integration, where you can where you can direct, and we'll show where that connects in a second. Net Promoter Score email is where we send an email out to all of the to all of your users and ask them to give some feedback, private feedback on their experience in the venue. And we can explore that in more detail in another video. And then this is the tag. So you can tag an access point, a unified access point, so that if a person uses that that area, for example, if you have a hotel and they have a business center, you could tag the, the, the that area with business center and then anybody who uses that area will get tagged in this data, which is good for segmentation. Now, what you can do here, obviously, if you are subscribing to Mailchimp, you can bring all this information across to Mailchimp, so it's all there to 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 target accordingly. So, and if you're not using Mailchimp, obviously, you can just simply export it, export CSV here, will allow you to take the data out. So then, uh, the next one down is the Devices tab. So this is just a a quick overview of the the Wi-Fi access points in the network in the Unify network. And uh, this just shows the various states. So this isn't. This, this is just a demonstration uh, data set. So this is just uh, to show you what what it might look like if they were disconnected or unavailable. So you can't do much here. It's just more of a place to view view the network. Um, what you can do here is apply a tag. So you can apply, uh, you can give an access point a tag, so that anybody who uses Wi-Fi in that area will get tagged with the tag in the user section up here as we discussed. So then the next one down after the devices tab is the net promoter score. So this just shows you the net promoter score uh, pattern over a period of time and you can see it all there. So jumping into the settings at the bottom left you'll see the settings tab and this is where you can essentially do the complete configuration of the system. There's a lot of stuff going on here, so I'm just going to go over it very briefly, and we can look at other parts in more detail later. But essentially, this is where you put the venue name in, the venue type, so you can toggle between restaurant, bar, theater, shopping center, hotel. This is the redirect URL where where you can send the users to after they they successfully sign up for the Wi-Fi for the first time. Uh, your logo, so your venue's logo and your your primary color. Uh, it can be all changed here. The demos, so for the, you, you put your social profiles in here so they can be integrated to the system. So as part of the, the follow-up emails, they will all be in there. Time zone is self-explanatory. Guest control is essentially just a replication of the settings from the Ubiquiti Unify system so that we can we know that everything is correct. This is essentially as well the, the whitelist that we use so that you can see it. Uh, the wireless network shows the wireless networks in the venue. 
marketing allows you to turn the net promoter score on or off it allows you to change the to turn data capture on or off if you want to do that uh, you can also then change the the opt-in conditions so it could be conditional opt-in or soft opt-in that's pretty straightforward uh, for the net promoter score you can decide who gets the emails who gets the feedback emails integration with MailChimp again this is a this is a really really good way of managing your data so what you do is you go to your MailChimp account and you you can find an API key there you simply paste the API key in here and enable it and that will connect your the two systems to each other the controller so this is where we connect to the ubiquity unify controller so this you put the, the the URL of the controller where you where you normally access it here, then you put the username in here, and we recommend using a, 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 a separate username for the MyPlace service and the password, and then once you do that, you can connect to the controller. So it's as simple as that, and then we run a, a series of checks to make sure that the connection is, is is stable and strong, and the controller version is okay, fully qualified domain name is in place, that all the ports are open as required, and the controller host. And there's an SSL cert on the controllers. We we have to run these series of tests to make sure that everything is working as it should. And then we also have some site status tests, some things like VLAN. Is there a VLAN on the network? We just need to be aware of that. Are the ports all open as required? Wireless network. So these are just things that will need to be in place for the service to work properly. And just through through many years' experience, we just know what to check for, and that's part of this process. So that is the that's the settings tab. Um, this is the main tab again, and that's just a quick overview of the MyPlace Connect dashboard. Thank you.